Hey y'all, I'm getting ready to go to Boo Boo Kitty House, but I wanted to open up the vlog and say, hey you guys. So, um, I'm hoping I can go get my toes polished today, because that's something on my to-do list. Um, I'm going to pull out my Tory Birch, I don't know what they're called, like a rainbow shoe. Mom, do I need to get my toes polished? Yeah, there's, there, yeah, it's a bright, um... Mommy. Yeah, yeah. Do I need to get my toes polished? Sure, baby. Uh, I the do. bright rainbow. Royal Navy. I've never worn these before, y'all. I literally had these shoes probably three years and never worn. So we're going to bust these babies open today or try to break them in today. And I'm going to catch you guys in the car. But I just want to show y'all close up of my shoes just in case I don't get these toes done. And y'all can't see them busted. <laughs> Y'all, excuse the mess, but this journey look of the day. Journey, who pick out your clothes? What? Who pick out your outfit? Me. You sure did. So, I'm going to let it roll, y'all, because I ain't got time to argue. Hey, you guys. So, we are on the road, and um, I just stopped to get some gas. I had to pay an extra five cents because the gas station with the cheaper gas, which was my BP, wanted me to come inside and I, I wasn't fit to do this so here's what it is we ended up putting like 46 dollars and i'm already i was already on a half a tank um so we are like i said headed to my sis house i'm mad because sis uh oh i dropped something my phone sis already well she was just eating so i guess i'm gonna pick me and journey up something once we get there um I don't really have no updates for you guys. So yesterday I did another speaking engagement. It was like a part two to the budget I did to young girls a couple weeks ago. But this topic was credit and budgeting, um, which was cool. It got really interesting towards the end when we did like a mock-up of what it looks like to actually create a budget. And then it was on a fly, let's create a budget for a teen or a preteen or whatnot. Something more realistic, realistic to their needs at this point in time. So, we did do that. That was pretty interesting. The call lasted for probably about an hour and a half. Um, and so, that was cool. I need to start back doing my budgeting videos with you guys. But I, it's been what budget for me? Like, what? what, what is that? <laughs> I have not been an adult. Sometimes I don't feel like being an adult. And it's been one of them times. So, I'm going to try to push myself to get back to doing it. The bills are still getting paid, but I just know the money going out, okay? It's going out. But we'll get back to doing that. I'll probably start back in the month of July. I'm not going to do June. Because June is, I'm preparing for the gender reveal, so money going out. Is what it is. Um, any updates? I already booked my maternity shoot. Y'all, maternity shoots are crazy. I already booked mine. And I was thinking about the infant shoot, but <laughs> those people crazy too. Like y'all, it's five hundred dollars for ten pictures of my newborn. Looks like we're gonna be going to JC Penney's. That's what it feeling like. Cause what? Five hundred dollars for my baby? One plus one and another two. Ooh, okay. I'ma let this Audi come because it's coming up strong. I'm going to go ahead and focus on this roll. I was going to tell you guys something. Uh, thank you, Ford. Let me get in front of you. Um, I was looking at like uh, Escalade XL because that's the next car that I will be purchasing. I don't want to buy it now, but the trip to Atlanta, it is a little tight. Okay? With that third roll up, it's tight in my back seat. And we about to add a no another car seat to the center. So we'll see. I'm not in a rush, but when I was looking at the prices, y'all, the Escalade that I want, it gotta be like a 2021. Those are still about eighty thousand dollars. Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it because I'm. Just, I, I don't even know what the property taxes would look like. Like that payment is gonna be sixteen hundred dollars. I'm just guessing here. That's that's. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I can't do it, y'all. I ain't even finna hold you. I'm not about to do that right now. I want to. I would love to. And, um, like I said, keeping I looked. I was showing him the ones that I looked at this morning. 
it's a need because I need the space as far as us traveling it would be nice now the 2020s are more reasonable they're about fifty thousand dollars so I like the price but I want <laughs> I want the grill and the lights and I'm I'm buying what I want so either I'm gonna wait a little bit for the 2021 to come on down to about 50 would be my max 50 to 60 would be my max and get the escalate then I need to look at the Denali's to see since they have the same body style but it's just something about the escalate baby she be talking to me and I need to XL because I like trunk space I like trunk so I don't think I'm gonna buy a car now in my mind I'm like I'm not a, a SUV a new SUV I don't think I'm gonna do that to myself no I'm tunnel vision on this house but it is a need it's not a one it's a need for us to have more space the kids are getting bigger and like I said we about to add another car seat and I don't want my kids to be tight and before I wanted the bench seat in the second row but now I'm kind of thinking I want the bucket seats because it's kind of annoying with the car seat and lifting up the seat and if your seat does not pull all the way up and how are you gonna do that nine out of ten the baby's gonna be to the right of me and that's usually the seat with the single lift up so all of that gonna go into play y'all i'm just thinking i'm talking but we'll see i was gonna get the range rover next year but now it'll be three coming that's definitely out of the question no rover for me it's okay maybe i'll get one when my kids get older and graduate something like that i don't know we'll see what the future holds but as of right now no rover because the rover is not going to do me any justice um that was my dream car but it's okay mom life so I don't know. I feel like something on my mouth. It is. If it is, y'all excuse it. Uh. uh but yeah, y'all. So that's it. I'll talk to y'all when I get a boo house. Mommy. Mommy. What, baby? I want pizza. Okay. You want pizza too? Mommy, you want pizza too? Mm-hmm. I don't think I saw. It's small music, but hey guys, so we're at the restaurant. Say hi, mama. <laughs> so we're about to get something to eat and I'll show you the food when we get here. Okay, now it's recording. Hey guys. Tony, you got to say something. <laughs> and then she's gonna sit on my arm. Are you on the top? You supposed to say, hey boss. Say hey boo boo. Hey boo boo. I gotta say hey vlog. Hey vlog. Okay, so you guys, so we're at the restaurant. Hey, look, look, look. You wanna tell them what you did to eat? I'm getting chicken tenders and chicken. I'm getting fries. Yes. Chicken tenders and chicken fries. Chicken tenders and chicken fries. Chicken is my favorite of any tender. Girl, you so blue. Tenders are my favorite. Look, she's saying it in slow motion. Tenders are my favorite. But my eye is swollen. Your eye swollen? I spy with my little eye, something is blue. Okay, let me spy my camera. Right? Boo Boo is so rude. She ordered an alcoholic drink. The, the indecency. Okay. <laughs> you didn't like it? It's lime.
hilarious. Thank you so much. Um, do you mind if I have that receipt? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Might need that, don't you? Thank you. <laughs> you too. Sorry because y'all are on. Mom, I did it. You did it. <laughs> Thanks. Y'all already know where I'm sitting at when it's orange. Sorry, I'm putting it in the back. I'm not redoing it. You did a great job folding your dress. Good job. We got lots of work. So, Journey and I are doing laundry. KJ went to go get the laundry. KJ and Journey went to get the laundry out no, of. Listen. Okay, can I tell the blog? Right okay, can I tell the blog what we're doing? Okay, guys, so I'm fine for a distress because I went to a daycare. Girl, you did. I uh -oh. did. I just got y'all sitting up on my uh little pillow in my chair. I'm trying to find a cool space to where y'all are sit. There you go. Where y'all can actually see my face. But I was watching my sister vlog. We're folding up clothes. Girl, you're getting better and better. Good job. <laughs> I got to wash dirty hair today. I'm going to pack the kids' clothes because we go on vacation this week. So, I'm going to pack the kids' clothes up tonight. My goal is for us to leave early in the morning. I do not want to play around um, and end up leaving late. So, we're going to leave early in the morning. Probably about 8 because we got to drop. Yeah, I'm going to no, tomorrow is Monday. Today is Sunday. No. Yeah. So. That's what it was in your belly. Yep, we're going to scare my belly when daddy get back. So y'all heard KJ. He found out today is Sunday. So we get to scan my belly today. And listen to B3. What else do I need to do guys? I'm going to try to take y'all with me for this latter part of the day. Literally this morning, all I did was I couldn't really sleep because my pelvic just feels like I just have so much pressure. I told Keith it felt like my uterus was trying to fall out. Um, but it, it was like you spread it. Like yes, what baby? The clothes, the clothes are falling. It's okay. So he was like, Mom, you can fold this one. Okay. And I'll fold this one. All right. He was like, you feel like uh. <laughs> Yeah, you spreading and I was like, I'm definitely spreading, sir. It's, it's definitely happening. So, tomorrow, I'm going to be an adult and contact my chiropractor. I didn't tell you guys. I don't think I told you guys. But I already told my my manager, you know, that I'm expecting or we're expecting. So, I really hate my chandelier and the fact that it's making me orange for you guys. But it's raining outside, so it is what it is. Maybe we can get some better bulbs. I'm pretty sure the bulbs we have in here is warm. Because that's all the lights that we have. a baby. We are expecting a baby. You're exactly right. We got six more months. Okay. We, KJ told y'all we got six more months till the baby get here. So, we got six more months till the baby get here. 
we have one more month until we plan the gender reveal well till we have the gender reveal i go to my doctor's appointment next monday and that's when they do the blood work and all that good fun stuff and mommy when what? the doctor cuts the baby out she, she was burnt i don't know if i want to get my belly cut so you guys comment in the comments below well i'm i'm gonna have a conversation with whatever doctor i meet with on monday they just gonna pull the baby out for me a little bit. Yeah. So I don't need to worry. No, they won't cut it. They won't cut it. No. Okay. So, um, Journey and KJ know they are my C-section babies, so that's why she's talking about cutting. Um. <laughs> anyway so i have that appointment on monday ne next monday um and i'm gonna try to take you guys with me as much as possible Ooh, it is an ultrasound God. appointment and praise you baby jesus i'm off that day so i'm getting these nails did too so i set my nail appointment up already thank you baby i set my nail appointment up already reminds me i need to text my neighbor because i need to set a hair appointment up for next week um, and I'm also going to, uh, AKA ball. Those of you that are new, I am in a sorority, but I'm not AKA, I'm a Zeta. Um, but I'm going to AKA ball next week. So yeah, yeah girl, because... girl, I got to try on my dress because it's a black and white. Move. Oh, show um, them your nails. That's what you're trying to do. Go ahead. You got to hold it down. Jaren got her nails done yesterday. Yay. Sis got red. It's popping. Okay. And then you got pink toes. KJ, if you don't get your little thing out my way. Move get it out the way. Let me see how she about to prop these toes. Oh. <laughs> Look how she put these toes up for y'all. Oh my God. Let me hold it. Mommy, look how beautiful my point here It is. Y'all, that slime on the floor. Please ignore the slime. We're in the process of cleaning up, okay? We, we forever Mom, cleaning up this room. Do you have the washing machine? Yes, I did. I messed up the tail. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Let me hold it. It was great. All right, Danny. Jeez. Can I show the Can I cut the ball? <sighs> I, I think, the, I think the ball can run my... I think uh, the baby can run my horse. Yes, the baby's going to love your horse. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, Thanks, Mom. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. No, we find that out next month. Okay. So next month we'll know if it's a boy or a girl. Yeah. I'm thinking boy, right? I'm thinking boy. Y'all see how B3 up here sitting? Like, this is ridiculous. What time you, what is this? This is really ridiculous. What, what time you think it was a girl? We pop out. Last time I thought it was a girl? Yeah. Oh, yeah, mommy's this? starting to think it's a boy. Oh, I think these are mommy shorts. They are. They're mommy Mom shorts. Mom shorts? Yeah. Now, mommy's starting to think is. No. Oh. Oh, Sorry, I put in the that. Head, boy. No, I don't want to put that on. My mom just took my hair out. Bro, what do you think you're doing? Oh, no. KJ Stevenson. I don't so. want to put it on. My mom okay. just took my hair out. My mom, you just took my hair out. I'm about to take these uh, out so we can wash it. Great hair. So we can wash it. I did it's do a wash and go in the back of Journey's hair, which we liked. Um, my mom just took my hair. But I'm gonna braid it down because we probably gonna get into. We're well not probably. We're gonna get into a pool, even though my baby is up. We're not he, in the pool. Even though KJ is up and he is jazzy Are we right now. In the pool. On vacation. Mm -hmm. Do vacation has pool? Yeah. So even though KJ is up and he's jazzy right now, the past two days he's been down. He had a fever of like 102, so Keith had to take him to the weekend emergency appointments. And he has a double ear infection. Like, y'all, my baby really can't catch a break. Keith gonna look at me last night and say, well, <laughs> it's probably because, boo -boo. So about, it's probably because I only nursed KJ for three months. And um, then I went back to work. I couldn't keep up with the man or the man, okay? Okay? By the time KJ came home, let me pull y'all closer. Mama! Sorry. 
So By the guys, time, that was just boo boo. That was just boo boo. Can I have my phone? Um. Can, listen, listen, listen. Can I talk to my vlog? Uh, this is not even my phone. This is my camera. Can I talk to my vlog? Okay. Let me talk to my vlog. Anyway, by the time... I ain't gonna get into a whole birth story with y'all. What? Oh, okay. You gonna fold it up? By the time... KJ's birth experience for me was... It wasn't really traumatic. It was slightly traumatic. <laughs> traumatic a little bit. But let's let's chat for a second on this too. I already talked to y'all for eight minutes. So let me chat with y'all for like a quick second. So when I had KJ, I got a due. So I was 39 weeks. And after 12 hours of labor, I decided to do a C-section. Because he was six. I got up to six centimeters, six centimeters. And I stayed at six centimeters for like two to three hours. I really can't remember. But two to three hours, and he was still up. And my daughter was like, you know, you want to continue? And I was like, no, I'm tired. I'm done. Like, y'all, I was tired. I was done. I was ready to get that baby out. It was, I was done, baby. I was done. And so um, she was like, yeah, I knew he wasn't going to come down. And I was looking at her like, you know. But anywho, surgery went well, came back out. Uh, KJ had the cord wrapped around his neck, so he was never gonna come down. Like, he was stuck. Um, and my mama swears because I kept my hand raised doing stuff, which is not funny, but I'm laughing because you know that's the old saying you keep your hands up, the cord gonna wrap around your baby neck. So, anywho, um, so KJ came out probably around nine, but both of my kids was like nine, she was nine a.m., he was p.m., anyway. Uh, made it back to did the recovery. My family was like the bomb.com. They stayed while we stayed in recovery, and then they met us in our room. Everybody took their pictures. We had great. <laughs> Please stop. We did laughs and I, hey, hey, hey. What is the problem? I can't a Let me help you. Um, let me drop y'all for a second. Y'all gonna have to look at this. So anyway, y'all, in this quick story, let me hold it. To the part that I'm about to get it. Let me hear you. Let me make it fast. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, baby. So maybe so around. I showed you all okay, John, stop. So because I had gestational diabetes, no, if you had gestational good. diabetes, you know they With check my your sugar. Guys, they got hearts on it. Pink. Okay, pink your feet down, please. So, <laughs> look when he is a raspberry to uh, why doesn't you rest? Because they match friends. Mm -hmm. Girl, go on. <laughs> Y'all, why? I'm trying to tell the vlog my story. You can tell the vlog your story in a minute. But anyway, y'all, let me scurry up. Because Johnny, Johnny making this longer than it has to be. Anyway, you know how they come in and they check your, sugar, your baby sugar level. KJ's kept dropping. And it's... He keeps throwing I was trying to nurse him. He keeps throwing up, okay? He wasn't throwing up. I was trying to nurse him, but y'all, milk didn't come in, okay? Up on the bed. Uh, my... What's the first... Whatever the first thing that thick, syrupy milk... I forgot what it's called at the top of my dome that 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 didn't come in okay Nut, nothing was up in there nothing was in there so anywho he okay so his levels dropped really really low to the point where they had to uh, take him to the NICU in the middle of the night oh my, my husband slept this entire no. y'all that pink stuff is slime too I hate slime oh. please please Anyway, so that's the part for me that was like traumatic because my baby had to leave the room and go down to NICU. And KJ stayed in NICU for about two days. Um, so two day, the second day we had visitors and y'all, after I kept getting up to walk, this is at the C-section, like y'all was up moving around walking. They was like, you just had a C-section, but it was the adrenaline of not having my baby in the room with me. So, later that night when the dust settled, I just broke down and I just started horribly boohoo crying. And Keith was looking at me and a nurse came in to check my vitals and I was just like, like hyperventilating, like having a hard time. And he was like, they're going to think I'm beating you up. So, um, K 
Keith ended up sending like a message out to our family, like tomorrow, you know, no visitors, no, just nobody. She just, I couldn't take it, right? It was just, it was just too much for me to bear. So that's the part that was like, y'all, I'm getting, <laughs> getting a little emotional just talking about, it. but it was just too much for me to bear. And I, we always have our group chat, so I was texting my mom and my sisters. They kind of try to calm me down or whatever because I was really upset. Like I was having a really hard time because it felt like it was my fault which it was because i was just eating and my sugars was always high during pregnancy so when he came out and i was like high in sugar with me and he came out into this world he did not know how to balance his sugar levels so um the lactation consultant was like you know he'll do better if he gets some of your sugary milk try to pump and all this stuff y'all i was so emotional i ain't want to do none of that i was like if the formula's working for him give him that and they were giving him like sugar water droplets whatever so anyway like i said he was at a NICU two days praise god i had a c-section because that allowed me to stay in the hospital four days i think that's right it allowed me i stayed in the hospital four days i ended up having kj on a wednesday we didn't go home to saturday so what is that and I got there Tuesday, so I was there. I had him on Wednesday, so let's just count from there because that's really when, you know what I'm saying? So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I was there three days plus, you know, day prior. So I spent four days in the hospital. So I say all that to say, by the time I came home, KJ was drinking, is it two milliliters? Not two milliliters. He was drinking whatever a full Similac thing is. I can't remember what it is. And my milk still hadn't dropped yet. So by the time my milk dropped, y'all, that boy was like, get that up out of my face. My milk didn't drop till two days after I came home. So I didn't get my milk till like Sunday, Monday. Um. So yeah, that's why I didn't breastfeed KJ Long. I breastfed him for three months, but I couldn't hold up to his demands. I was trying to supplement. I know one's hope. Okay, I was trying to supplement with him, and it just didn't work out in my favor, y'all. I know y'all ain't asked me for that, but I wanted to get that um, with my journey with him. And then I was really determined with Journey that I was going to be successful with breastfeeding. So, we, in the beginning, didn't offer her the formula. But she did supplement a little bit because she had jaundice. Stop. She had a breastfeeding jaundice. If y'all need me to go in depth on that, I will. That was kind of traumatic, too. Um... But Mommy. she did that, and then once hey, she was Mommy. over that, yes, love. Where did dumb? Where are dumb phones clothes? We are dumb phones clothes. So now, mommy, gotta put your clothes up in the room. So, um, but I ended up breastfeeding Johnny for two years. I say all that to say, I feel like her immune system is way better. Please don't move that, and you drop all these clothes. Mommy came. No, mommy barely moving right now. I I don't want to have to pick up nothing extra. So I say all that to say. Mm -hmm. I said all that to say Keith was like you should have breastfed him longer Cause her immune system is just so much better She does not get sick as often as KJ does KJ be sick every other Sunday when the wind blow differently My baby be having a hard time Versus Journey she good So this baby I do plan on breastfeeding I, pr I Let me not say Let me choose my words I don't want to do two years um, Like I did with Journey I just felt capped like I was um a hostage in my own body like my body was not mine so I hope that I only do or I want to because I'm trying to choose my words right um I only want to breastfeed B3 for one year and then try to transition him or her to milk somebody other than this milk okay <laughs> Because I don't want to do it longer than a year. A year is long enough. And I, this time I'm trying to be more disciplined with pumping versus um, just exclusive. Journey ended up being exclusive because I had so much complications, y'all. And I'm hoping because I'm coming in my second time, I will not be a rookie. Y'all, this is a 20-minute video. Let me hurry up. I'm hoping that I won't be a rookie with this baby and that the stuff that I had before is just going to naturally come back to me. Um... And we won't have the same issues. I do plan on getting a mobile pump so I can sit at my desk and pump and stuff. But this is going to be my first baby. Even though my mother-in-law, like, I love my mother-in-law, y'all. Linda, you watching. Love you, girl. 
But I love her because she's like, how can I support you? She's just always willing to help. But I'm really, I'm trying to, why am I getting emotional, y'all? Lord, I'm, I want to use her if I absolutely need her. Like, I got stuff to do. Um, hectic days, but I got to be an adult. We plan for this baby, so we're going to have to take care of this baby. We had so much help with KJ, Journey, Semi. My mother-in-law was com coming up two days, and then the pandemic hit, and then it was like, you know, when she could, because she didn't want to catch COVID and affect them, vice versa, stuff like that. So, we're going to see how the cookie crumble on this one. Um, but, yeah, that was getting me into the whole figuring out, figuring out what I want to do. And we'll just kind of figure it out more with the doctor's appointment. My mom is gun ho on me like, get the C-section and stop playing. We ain't finna do none of that. Mm -mm. And I'm like, mom, you just don't understand how hard recovery is with a C-section. Like, it hurts so bad. <laughs> like, I can't even tell y'all. It hurts so bad. Journey, Journey was the worst. So I'm scared that my third will be worse than hers. And honestly, y'all ain't got time. I don't want to be in pain like that. Ugh. But I'm going to talk to y'all for 20 minutes. Um, I'll probably call y'all back when I talk to my sister. And we kind of go over the menu for the gender reveal. Um, I did decor with my sister. I need to touch bases with her today because we are a month away. Make sure we good. Make sure she don't need nothing. Matter of fact, let me call you back so I can call her and I'm going to do that. Um, Yeah, y'all. And I'm going to post it on Facebook, which I do evites. Or, I do my invites on Facebook. But I'm going to post it on Facebook today. So, um, people will have enough time if they need to get off from their job. You know, you know, you know. So, yeah. I'll talk to y'all for 20 minutes. I'm sorry. Love you. I'll be back. I called you three times. When I call you, respond. When I text you, respond. Why do I have to call you multiple times? You need to give me a special ringtone so you stop what you're doing and answer the phone. You know, I'm so mad. I'm lucky. Why is it so hard for you to understand? Because I don't. If we continue to have these problems, I'm cutting your phone off. I'm calling the people and I'm cutting your phone off. What do you want? Because you call me like you got. What you want? At this point, I got beef because you weren't answering the phone for me and I called you three times. Go ahead. I'm waiting. It's the disrespect that I can't take. Uh, anyway. How may I help you? What are you doing? <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. I am back. I know. It's days later. I was supposed to come back to you guys Sunday. And we end actually end up doing... Oh, y'all look better. We actually end up doing nothing. We did our... Sunday scan. Um, I probably should have taken y'all with us on that, but we did our Sunday scan of B3, and I don't play any sounds for y'all because it doesn't really work to your 12 weeks. So I'll be 12 weeks on Sunday, but the kids like the thought of they get to hear the baby heartbeat, so they just like to rub across my belly. That's why I'll never give y'all no sound. Now, once we actually find B3, then I'll start uh, providing the heartbeat sound for you guys. But until then. Which should be on the next one, right? Right, because that'll be Sunday. So, anywho, um, I want to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I ran my mouth a lot in this vlog, so my bad. My B. Um, but I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm about to start a new vlog, okay? So, it's going to look the same. But I'm about to start a new vlog.